what's up guys you're back to yet another video this is sweet up and if you're a new subscriber a new returning viewer welcome back and if you have been with us for quite some time now you're also welcome and in this video i'll be sharing with you how to create a broadcast list for your whatsapp for business marketing or you want to advertise something over a campaign or stuff like that over on whatsapp so even if you're using a business whatsapp or a normal whatsapp or a gb whatsapp this same steps apply so the first thing you need to do is to launch your whatsapp application so um for this video i'll be using the whatsapp business application so when your business application is launched all you need to do is go up to the top right corner of your screen here you see a three dotted icon so click on three dot icon and click on where it said new broadcast click on new broadcast and you'll be brought to the contact list over on your whatsapp so it says new broadcast and a broadcast list holds a maximum of 256 contact so when you have selected up 256 contact which you want to send a broadcast that's your limit for whatsapp so just go on and select the people you want to um send a broadcast put them in your broadcast list so click them click click i was going to select a few contacts for the sake of this video so you will be seeing the at the top part of your screen here the contact screen the contact you selected will be shown up here so if you have selected ones which you don't want to be part of your new broadcast so all you need to do is to click on the little cancel button let's say i don't want isaac to be part of this i just click on the little cancel button and he's been removed from the broadcast so i'll go ahead and select those i want to be in my broadcast list so when you're done all you need to do is come down to the bottom right corner and you see a little check uh, button here green button you click on it and you'll be brought to the broadcast list so it says 10 recipient that is the name of your broadcast list by default now 10 recipient so congratulations you just created your new broadcast list so to make edit make some changes to your broadcast list all you need to do is to click on this three dot, uh, three dot icon on the top right corner and you see a uh, menu like broadcast list info broadcast list media search and the rest but if you still don't want to use this three dot like icon here all you need to do is to click on the name of the broadcast list and you'll be brought here you could see it says on titled list because you haven't given it a name and this is particularly a broadcast list it was created time of creation here and you can see that this broadcast list contains 10 recipients and these are your recipients down here you can also delete a broadcast list maybe when you don't send in broadcast or you don't want to create a broadcast list all you need to do is to click on the delete list here so to go and make some changes click on the three dotted line icon here and click on change broadcast list name and click on change broadcast list name now you could give it a name let's say let's say sweet hub this is our channel's name sweet hub um broadcast then you could put an emoji so like that just put an emoji for me and yeah click on okay and this has been changed to sweet hop broadcast list so i don't know concerning the profile icon i don't think you could change it i think this is default yeah it is by default and this little label icon up here you could um you could maybe you were trying to create a broadcast list for your new customers if you're into business maybe you, you have a broadcast list for customers who that are new or new order customers who are making new order or you have customers who are yet to pay you pending or customers who have paid you or you want to create a new label let's say a new list of people let's say um delivered let's say delivered save okay so let's say these are people you have already delivered your product or your service to you need to click on it save so this broadcast list is a broadcast list for um, members who are your business people business persons who you have delivered the goods or your service to them so this is it and yeah all you need to do now is to start sending messages so one good thing about broadcast messages is that when you send message this is one way to keep yourself productive while handling a lot of people though if you have let's say we our broadcast um list right now has 10 persons so you don't want to go through the stress of sending uh each and every of the 10 persons single message like 
yeah it's a whole lot of stress though but creating a broadcast list is one way to stay on top of that so when you send a message here literally every single person would see um the message right let's say you send hi welcome to my broadcast yeah welcome to my broadcast so when you send just this single message every of this 10 persons on your broadcast list would see this message right so this you see literally this is someone from the broadcast who has already seen and this, this you see this is high this is so literally those on the broadcast list can't reply here but you could just send them a message and when they send you a message you see it on your personal chat with them right so this broadcast list is basically to send broadcast to them individuals so hi welcome to my broadcast is going to be shared to all those 10 persons and i think someone has replied you could see someone has just replied this is our message from broadcast and you could see this little um broadcast um uh symbol here on the message so you see this person has already seen it from our broadcast and it the person replied and we could see the reply from uh the our personal dm with him he said thank you for contacting handy pride please let us know how we can help you so basically he has seen the message so that's one way to stay on top of large audience sending them messages sending them um what they need to see and not having to chat each and every one personally which is stressful and yeah if you already get in value from this video guys please smash the like button click on the notification and subscribe and share this video to someone interested this helps the video and channel a lot to get to reach out to a lot of people and it also helps me to keep creating nice content for you just like this so that's it guys for this video that's how to create a broadcast list and like i said if you don't want the broadcast list again you could just go here click on the broadcast list um info and basically click on delete and it says also delete media receiving this chart from broadcast list you click on delete and the broadcast has been deleted you see the broadcast has been deleted and all the members will automatically not see anything there because you can't literally send any message from the broadcast list i hope this video helps guys if it does please smash the like button click on the bell notification icon and please subscribe share to those interested and until then guys i'll see you in the very next video peace out